agency costs occur where there is a conflict of interest among different stakeholders of the firm in any firm the top managers are hired and retained as per the directions of the firm's board of directors who by themselves are elected by the firm's stockholders so these top managers are assumed to work in the best interest of the firm's stockholders leverage also create a conflict of interest as the managing investment decisions in any firm may have different implications for the value of equity and the value of debt of that particular firm and this potentially because uh, becomes more prominent if the risk of financial distress in that firm is uh, higher uh, we know that sometimes the managerial decisions become more beneficial for the firm's equity holders and harmful for the debt holder of the firm and even they become more harmful for the overall value of the firm so let's see uh, to understand this through an example we have a firm that is under financial distress the firm has one year outstanding loan of 1 million dollar the management of the firm is considering a new proposal a new strategy which seems promoting but risky as well it requires no upfront investment there are 50% chances of success and if there is a success the value of the firm's assets will be increased to 1.3 million dollar and if there is a failure of that particular strategy then this will decrease the value of the firm's assets to 0.30 million dollars so as a result of adopting these this particular strategy the change on the value of the firm's assets will be a negative 0.1 million this means that uh, now there is a question that can this negative expected pay off benefit the firm's stockholders we see that if the firm does nothing then the firm will eventually go into default but the equity holder will get nothing and if the firm takes up the risky strategy then the equity holder will also have nothing to lose because the strategy goes on success then the equity holder will receive 300000 after paying off all the debt of the firm so giving a 50% chances of success the equity holders expected pay off is 150000 dollars so this means that the gainers in this particular strategy are the stockholders of the firm who are gaining even a uh, gaining an amount of 150000 dollars despite of the fact that the new strategy has a net decline in the firm's assets by uh, 100000 dollars we have table that is showing the outcomes for the firm's debt and equity under each strategy we have in in old strategy we have assets of 900 million dollars and if we go for nothing that we we can pay the 1 million debt in the form of 900000 dollars only and in case of success by paying off the debt the equity holders will get 300000 dollars as a payoff and in case of failure the equity holder will lose nothing but the debt holders cannot have their full repayment of debt so if we see the expected pay off for the debt holder that is only 650000 dollars so debt holders are basically the losers because if the strategy fails they will bearing the loss and in case of pro successful project the debt holder will be paying their full amount which is uh, 1 million and if the project goes on failure they will receive only 300000 dollars as we have seen in the table so there is a net loss of 250000 dollars which is the difference between the value of the firm's assets of 900000 and the net payoff to the debt debt holders which is 650000 dollars and that loss of 250000 is in line with the 100000 expect which is expected loss of the er, risky strategy and the gain of 150000 dollars that is going into the pocket of the equity holders so effectively we can say 
that they are the equity holders who are gambling with the money of the debt holders in fact shareholders of financially distressed firm can gain from the decisions only that increases the firm's riskiness sufficiently even if there is a negative decision a negative npv of of the decisions taken in the firm leverage also uh, gives shareholders an incentive to replace low risk assets with the more riskier ones uh, and that is basically the assets substitute problem you see that increased risk to a negative npv project reduces the firm value and this had this bad behavior induced the security holders to pay uh, an amount in lesser in the initial stage to the firm so what is then debt overhang and underestimate investment uh, under investment problem a financially distressed firms stakeholders uh, may choose not to fund the new positive npv problems npv projects that is the phenomena of debt overhang because giving up such profitable opportunities cost to the debt holders and the overall firm's value and higher cost of the firm likely to have profitable growth opportunities regarding and that require larger amount of investments in the future a financially distressed distressed firms shareholders withdraw cash from the firm whenever it becomes possible and that phenomena is termed as cashing out so an extreme form of underinvestment resulting from the debt overhang problem